Hi everyone, welcome back to Heavy Rescue. It's a beautiful morning here in town. I was actually eating my bowl of cereal out here on the front porch watching some YouTube videos and we got the first call of the day. Uh, someone needs a tow here, so why don't we hop in our pickup truck, go get one of the tow trucks, and go give a hand. Like always guys, there's a full mods list linked down below. And if you end up enjoying today's video, help me out by hitting the like button. It's been a few weeks since the previous episode here, so I thought, hey, why don't I bring the camera along as I go to work as a tow truck driver here in town. But driving the Toyota Tacoma, guys, this is one of my favorite quarter ton trucks here. It's just pretty handy. This is a TRD Pro, so this has a full off-road package, and I, I've taken this off-road in quite a bit here. Uh, but fortunately for us, guys, it's just a short drive on over to the shop here you guys and see looks like one of the rollbacks is already out on a call this morning but the call guys is actually from it looks like a landscaper here in town he overloaded his truck and he's broken down on the side of the road here he didn't know really what uh broke uh so we need to take a roll back here i'm thinking since it's a landscaper i probably want to bring the heavy duty or truck here so why don't we hop in the chevy 5500 this truck has some pretty sweet strobe lights on here, so he said he was just down the road from the landscape supply on the other side of town. So let's see if we could go find him. He doesn't know his exact address here, but I know where that is, and we should be able to do that here. But guys, I've been really liking the Heavy Rescue series here. It's been a ton of fun. We've been helping out uh, drivers all over uh, with broken down vehicles here and doing some recovery work of stuck things, and just a lot of fun getting to run these tow trucks. With a tow truck company, guys, we do so many different things here from towing cars to recovery work and even helping people start their vehicles on a low battery. So this is a landscape supply, and I'm thinking it's just up the road here. Oh, look at that, guys. I guess I'm right here. Wow, that truck is on the side of the road here, and I think I can see the problem already. Wow, that truck looks like... It definitely has uh, something broken in the rear uh, suspension here. So we'll take a quick look here at it. But good thing we brought the rollback. Let's take a look at it here. Whoa, it looks like the axles broke here. Yeah, it looks like, wow, the hub broke right off the axles. And I wonder if the tires are connected to anything here. Guys, that would do the full power of sod is super heavy here. It looks like we have another big box of seed. Yeah, that is definitely way too much for a truck like this here. But why don't we get the rollback ready to go and we'll get this thing winched up onto the truck here. We'll bring it back to our tow yard until we hear from the uh, customer on where he wants it dropped off at. Right about there, should be good. Let's put a few tie down straps here on it and we'll get back to the shop. Having this truck up on the rollback, you could definitely see quite a bit of suspension damage here. It looks like it was actually on the hitch as we were going up onto it. You could actually see the marks here on the roadway here. It looks like no damage though. Yeah, but this truck is going to need quite a bit of work here. Won't be uh, able to drive it until they get that fixed here. And also, uh, I, hopefully they don't overload it again here because I would say that is at least probably 1,500 to 2,000 pounds. And this truck is about uh, 20 years old here. So having an older truck fully loaded like this, definitely maxing out the suspension isn't going to work out. And that is why it's on the back of the truck today. I'm going to leave this on the truck here. That way uh, I don't want to unload it. Have to put it back up the roll bag to drop it off at a local mechanic shop here. He said he was going to go do a job and then he'll give me a call here. But guys, I just got the next call of the day. It's a zero turn in a pond. It looks like a, a, someone mowing a lawn ended up sliding down in it. We did get a, quite a bit of rain the last two, three days here. So that must be the cause of it. And I'm thinking we are going to have to take this truck here. Now, they did say that they were going to try to bring their truck with a tow rope, but they decided to call on the professionals, which is definitely the way to go. You don't want to be tearing up and uh, creating big tire ruts in a customer's yard. Otherwise, you're going to be uh, having to spend quite a bit of money to get the yard back in uh, shape. 
I hope everyone's been having a pretty good day here so far. Let me know how yours is down below here. My day's been pretty good here. This F550 uh, wrecker has about 100 feet worth of winch line here. Hopefully that's enough. If not, we uh, we have some chains, probably 25 uh, feet of chains here. And it looks like we are arriving here. So I want to first kind of check this out. Uh, kind of see what's happening here. Looks like that's the landscape truck and trailer. We just have to find the mower. And look at that, guys. That looks like a big zero-turn mower. That is why they couldn't even try to muscle it out by hand here. Wow, that is like two, three feet in. Looks like it is almost uh, kind of in the water for the engine here. So we do want to be pretty careful. But I'm thinking we should be able to put the wrecker right in the driveway there. If not, maybe a few feet over into the grass. And we should be able to winch this out. Yeah, this should uh, be uh, quick and easy here for us. But they did ask us... If we could help load it up on the trailer. They don't want to turn it on. They want to bring it right to mechanic. Because if there's water in the engine. And they try to turn it on. That is going to create quite a bit of damage. And that is going to be expensive. Probably an engine rebuild. Or even a new engine. We got the winch line here, and I'm just going to walk it all the way back here. This winch is super heavy. Luckily, though, I just got a new winch line, so it's not all rusted out here. Definitely the winter puts a lot of work on that, but we'll get it attached. We got the winch line on here. Let's see if we could add a little bit of tension here, too. It looks like the tow truck's not moving, which is a good thing. And we are just slowly going to winch this zero turn out. That looks almost like a new one as well. Hopefully they could get back it up and running here. Because spring's here, guys. The grass is definitely going to need to be mowed here. Now we'll, we'll put it in high spool winch. That way it's a little bit faster to get, uh, to get winched on back here to uh, the driveway. Right about there, should be good here. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to lower the arm down. Let's see if we can lift up the back two wheels. And we'll just slowly kind of drive it on over to that trailer. I want to be careful not to damage the customer's driveway or to cause any more potential damage to the mower. I have the winch and uh, free spool here, but guys, we're going to be taking up the road just a little, little bit here, and I think right about there will be perfect. That is a, a quite close there, but yeah, that's going to work out well here for us, uh, and that winch line is actually now in the center of the trailer, and we should be able to winch that right up on the ramp. I'm just going to go nice and slow here. I want to make sure we're on the center here. Looks like it is a little bit more of a workout here for us now that we're back on pavement with all four wheels here. Looks like we have to go a little bit more to the right. That's going to be a little tricky here, but we're slowly moving it up the ramp. I think that's on the trailer enough here. I wanted to make sure we put a little bit of the weight over the axles and a little bit more on the tongue. That way, we don't have it unsafe for the landscaper. But he'll be on his way to John Deere now. But I'm going to get this uh, folded back up and we'll get back to the shop here. Have a little bit of lunch and wait for the next call here. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's heavy rescue video. Until next time, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and subscribe for more.